Good day and welcome to the first round of the National Invitation Tournament. I'm Brad Nessler and joining me as always is Dick Vitale. This should be a good one between the Southeastern Louisiana Lions and the Ole Miss Rebels. Dick, you look at this one and it doesn't look like it's going to be a great game, but sometimes we get surprised. I tell you what, it looks like an M&M, but you never know. If they come out and get an early start and play with some confidence and get that early lead, they can put pressure on the favorite. The Rebels should be able to play a lot of bodies tonight, Dick, as they're highly favored on paper, but what are the keys for them to win? Tonight, the keys are pretty simple. First of all, don't let their big man become a factor offensively. Keep him off the block, push him away from the low box, and force him to shoot jump shots. Second of all, take care of the basketball. Turnovers can really kill any rhythm offensively. And finally, if you win the glass, baby, and you'll own the boards, you'll win the game. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. Second shot, no good. Collects the rebound. Inside for two. Perfectly executed. That's Matador defense. Nobody coming over. Nobody giving any help. I mean, that's how you see better defense on a playground. Both teams looking to get things going here. That was like a NASCAR wreck and no whistle. Wow, no call. You like that NASCAR. Hey, where's Mr. Petty? Number 50 picks up the foul. This crowd is unbelievable today. Oh, they're emotional. They're packed. They're jammed. You can't find an empty seat. They work it around the perimeter for the bucket. Can't get the shot to go. Number 50 takes the pass. He'll regroup the offense. Number 22. It's a hoop and a foul. He showed good concentration on possession, Brad. I tell you, what an opportunity he's got right here. Because to me, this is a gift. They work it around the perimeter. In the paint. Goes up for two. And he missed. He keeps the dribble as they reset. On the outside. Inside. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Trying to pack it inside. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. In anticipation defensively. Looking for a good shot. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. And off the mark. Fed the low block. Number 33 gets the ball. They just can't seem to miss. They found a serious stroke with their shooting, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Up and inside. The power forward with the ball. For two. And in and out. Trying to draw some contact. Drains it. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Blocked! Nice job defensively. The point guard takes the feed. With a bucket, perfectly executed. 
He can't stay with him. He's got to get some help from his teammates on D. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Tries for two. Doesn't go. Ooh, look at the shot block. He got some contact. Nice hop. Turns it over. This is swarming defense. Look at that spacing. The shooting guard gets the pass for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Number 32 is whistled for the foul. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. For the bucket, can't get the shot to go. From the baseline, nice shot. Well, that's good defense, a steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. Well, thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Number 14 with the steal. Shows patience waiting for the reset. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. I don't think that's the guy they want shooting that shot. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I tell you, took a chance, and he lost, baby. Way off target. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Now they work it around the perimeter. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Gave it up. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. From right at the circle, he's money with the shot. We got to see that one again. Number 50 is feeling great right now. I love seeing players play with emotion and passion. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. On the dribble, gives it up. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Gave it up. Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. The ball goes out of bounds. Now look at him celebrating with the cheerleaders of all people. I love the zest of the young man. Dancing with the cheerleaders. That's awesome, Brad. Oh, 
Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Here's one for the highlight reel. Working it around the perimeter. The shot from the baseline. Off the rim and no good. Number 44 with the fake. Number three steals the ball. On the dribble, gives it up. For two, in and out. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. A high screen. Got it. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Great play to take that to the basket. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. He goes to the line for the first time. Got it from the free throw line. Defense all over him here. Oh, what a hard screen there. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. The crowd is enjoying this close one. The fans are just waiting for the favorites to pull away. But will it happen here tonight? All right, thanks, Aaron. Gave it up. Here's the toss back out for the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. One thing a lot of people don't know about this tournament is that it only allows for one team from each conference to participate in a given year. I like that rule. They get that rejected. And he'll kick it back outside. From right of the circle, he gets it to go. Shoots from the top of the key. Great job of running the defender into the screen for the nice J. Controlling the ball. Goes up for two. They still don't score. On the outside, he shoots from long range. Way off target. Top of the circle, they work it. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. They work it around the arc. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Perfectly executed. Up and inside. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. He looks at the hoop. 
Fakes it. Turnaround jumper. And off the mark. The frustration right there. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Number 50 is pounded on his way up. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. He goes to the line for the first time. Makes the first shot. Both free throws go. For the bucket. He's definitely hogging the ball like you hog the microphone. Hey, sure he is. I can hear starting from here. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Now the turnaround jumper. In and out. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Number 33 pulls down the offensive rebound. Tickles the twine. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Tries for two. Doesn't go. Puts it up, looking for contact. He made great use of the screen to put up an easy score. and they do a nice job. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. On the outside, entry pass in the paint. He fakes the shot. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. For the bucket, perfectly executed. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. You betcha. The crowd will be on cloud nine if they can put some points up on the board. Intercepted. With a stop here, there will be sheer pandemonium in the stand. He tries a jump hook. This guy's not looking for anybody else out there. You're right, Brad. He's got a little too much to prove right now. Goes up for two. And he missed. He intercepts it. Pushes it up. Working it around the perimeter. Tries for two. Gets it to fall. He 
tries to knock down the three. Off the rim and no good. Picks off the lazy pass. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Look at him now, Dick, celebrating with the cheerleaders. Now that's a spectacle. Hey, I think he's versatile. Play some hoop. Do a little dance. They will line him up. Free throw is good. Got them both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. On the top of the key, way off target. Here's a double team. He's got some room. He puts up the three ball. Dribble gives it up. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Got a nice screen. Cross court. He takes the shot from the baseline. Not a whole lot of luck getting the baskets to fall lately, Dick. They definitely aren't getting the bounces right now. Down to the low block, trying to work inside. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup that. Gave it up. Top of the circle. They work it around the perimeter. Double team now. Bad angle. Number 50 with the theft. He pulls the trigger. Off the rim and no good. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind, or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. In the paint. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. For two, and off the mark. the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Can't get the shot to drop. Take a look right here. He explodes to the basket. Perfectly executed. Let's see if they go two for one here, Dick. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has a great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They get the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Clock is dead. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. It's good. You guys got the replay ready up there. Here we go. They're working around the perimeter. We're going to move it around. 
the perimeter. Picked out of the air with a quarterback pass. Got the bucket and the foul. He made a statement of that play, baby. I ain't backing down as he's crying. Number 14 going to the line for the first time tonight. Makes it. He shoots from left of the circle. Way off target. Are these guys simply too quick on defense, Dick? They're too quick and they're too physical, Brad. And halftime, the Rebels lead by 17. We've had a good battle so far, Dick. What do you have queued up for our highlight of the half? Watch here. Having the ball inside like you see. And this highlight will take a lot out of the team on defense. I expect to see more of the same from both teams in the second half. Well, let's head back down to the court for the start of the second half. Southeastern Louisiana carelessly gave away a lot of possessions by turning the ball over. Their coaching staff must be living right now. The amount of extra opportunities they're giving away is just absurd. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. This is kind of what we expected, uh, Richard. You know, going into this ball game, we didn't expect it to be close in the first half, and it wasn't. I'll tell you what, David has really had a tough time against the Goliath. They have done a great job, the Goliath, coming out mentally focused and ready to perform. Tries for two, and in and out. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Looking for a good shot. Steals a pass. There's a steal. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. From right at the circle, off the rim and no good. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. That's a 14 zip run. Dribble gives it up. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. A severe offensive drop for them right now, Dick. And it doesn't seem to be turning around as of yet, Brad. Moving it around the perimeter. Gave it up. On the outside. He rejects it. And the ball goes out of bounds. For the bucket, perfectly executed. That's a 16-nothing run. Get that board movement, get that good spacing. He launches a three. They're going to find a way to get some easy buckets to get their confidence back, Brad. Absolutely. They got to get it going here. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him. He gets the rejection. The ball goes out of play. Oh, and look at the crowd and look at the reaction. I tell the home fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. him in the paint but went elsewhere on the inside jumps into the defender goes up for two they'll take a timeout right here
the floor. High post screen, gonna use it. Way off target. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Tries for two. They're working around the perimeter. Leans in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Makes the move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. He's out of control, baby, out of control. From the top of the circle, makes it. Side. The ball handler might be in trouble here. From right in the circle, off the rim and no good. For two, can't get the shot to go. He shoots from downtown. He shows the sweet touch. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. For the bucket. They still don't score. Number 33 makes a great move to draw the foul. He is going to the line. That's a nylon, MBN. Gets two at the charity strike. On the dribble, gives it up. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Goes up for two. Doesn't go. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And now they'll bring it up. It's not uncommon to have a few high risers on your team these days. The game has definitely changed in that regard. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Looking for a good shot. Got it in the low block. Trying to draw the foul. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Working around the perimeter. Nice fake. In the paint. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. They'll 
Work it around the arc. High post screen. Way off target. Terrific block shot, though. He's a dominator blocking shots on the interior. Jumped in front to take it away. Up and inside. For the bucket. In and out. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to go. Here he is defensively, and this is going to be an Academy Award, Dick. Absolutely, Academy Award at its best. Looking for contact. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Gave it up. Three. He hits the shot. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Tries for two, and off the mark. Now they work it around the perimeter. For two, they still don't score. Picks off the pass. Pass is stolen. Terrific gamble on the interception. Unloads a three. Off the rim and no good. They work the perimeter. Way off target. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to drop. at the three. Southeastern Louisiana are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they have to keep pushing and seeing if they can't force a timeout. Moving it around the perimeter. Down in the low block, trying to work the lane. He hammers it home. You can almost see that coming. They were a little bit lazy on the defensive end. Mr. Excitement with that jam. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Wow, what a super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. There's the trap. He looks for three. Poor decision. He has no business taking that shot. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot selection. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn. Number 14 is charged with the foul. What a great play. Check him out, Dick. He's taunting the crowd. You've got that right, Brad. Working it around the perimeter. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Looking for a good shot. Number 50 draws the personal. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Brad, during halftime, the coaching staff told me a sign of a good team is they play strong and play their style, despite who their opponent is. Guys? All right, thanks, Aaron. Sinks it. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Second one is no good. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Go 
goes up for two. In and out. Jumps in. And he scores despite the hat. Looking for a good shot. On the dribble, gives it up. They'd like to get it inside with a low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Number four is pounded on his way up. Check out this young man, Brad. He's taunting the opponent. A couple of free ones. Misses it. Gets the second shot. Is there enough in the tank for a comeback here, Dick? Stranger things have happened, Mr. Nestle, but time's winding down. Working around the perimeter. Gave it up. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. They work the perimeter. The center in the post. Number 44 makes a great move to draw the foul. the free throw line opportunity this is the first second shot is good way out on top controlling the ball and Dick this is just playing good defense really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot Working around the perimeter. In the paint. The pressure that basketball. Help one another. Communicate. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He blocks the shot. Move's not going to work against the defense like that. He threw it down and still one to come. He saw that opening and took it right to the rack, baby. I don't even know if he felt the foul. To the charity strike. Foul shot is not good. And that free throw line has really not been friendly for them tonight, Dick. Yeah, they just haven't looked comfortable from there. Number three draws the personal. Oh, Dick, there's a look at the foul situation. Well, you know, Brad, a lot of times the first team to the bonus will get the advantage. That means they're playing aggressive basketball. It means they get to the charity stripe quicker and have an opportunity to rack up some easy points. First shot is no good. Dick, this team is having some serious problems at the free throw line. And it's a collective effort by all of them tonight. Count it. The Rebels lead by 20. Moving it around the perimeter. He tries the three. Goes in. Up and inside. Nice drop step. I tell you, he does a great job with his footwork to create the drop step. He gets the bucket. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. High post screen. So effective, that screen. in the low block but opted against it they go with the entry pass on the post turnaround jumper right 
get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Looking for the foul. Number 34 with a finger roll. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Down he goes, and no foul call either way. Wow, no call. I can't believe that one. On the dribble, gives it up. Fake. Number 14. He gets the bucket and the foul. He's here to fight, baby. That's a big play. With the freebie. He sinks it. Takes the shot. Nice job of dribbling off the screen, but the shot just didn't fall. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Off the rim and no good. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Good fake. Number double zero is called for the foul. On the inside. Trying to draw some contact. Number 20 makes the finger roll. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. And off the mark. Gave it up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Perfectly executed. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it clearly down here. The coach is stressing, go inside, go inside. They've been affected all night long that way. What an asset to have, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. Fans are pleased now, given the fact that this game is really out of reach. Well, it's simple. They came out, executed a game plan, and ended up on top. I'll tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Problem with that, when you're front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see more man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Goes up for two. Doesn't go. On the outside. Stop and pop. Way off target. On the dribble, gives it up. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. <laughs> Tries for two. Can't get the shot to drop.
And he'll kick it back outside. Steele. You can't be that. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. Oh, oh, young man, be careful. Torting is definitely a no-no. That'll definitely rub the opponents the wrong way. He'll go to the line. Got to make the freebies. And the free throw woes continue. This is embarrassing display of free throw shooting, Brad. Dickey really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Look at that spacing. Pull-up jumper from way out. He shows the sweet touch. A little bit of one-man backcourt pressure. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box, up and inside. Gave it up. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Working it around the perimeter. Looking for a good shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Hurries it to beat the clock. Rims out. Shot clock is dead. He dials long distance. Not a wise decision to take that shot there. Hey, a few more of those, he may wind up on a bench. The small forward takes the feed. On the outside. They work the perimeter. Well, Dick, this is unbelievable. I didn't expect this. I think they should have won, and they couldn't find a way to get anything done tonight. Yeah, they really want to get to the locker room, post the W, move on. And they do it because, number one, they're unselfish. They share the rock, baby. They know how to give it up. They always make that one extra pass that leads to that extra good shot. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. Ole Miss wins this game in convincing fashion. The outcome was never in doubt. It was always a question of how dominant they would be. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.